What's up Mega Squad? Hey guys, if you've seen the latest Spy Ninja videos, you will know that Chad and the other Spy Ninjas found a hatch at the safe house. So today I'm going to show you how you can build a giant Daniel in a hazmat suit and Chad Wild Clay going into a hatch. Let's go! guys, before we jump into the tutorial, if you guys love the Spy Ninjas, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss out on the latest video. Now, for those who didn't see one of my recent videos, we were doing an epic giveaway of a Nintendo Switch game, gaming headset, and controller. And I'll be announcing the winner later in the video. So to make this epic build, these are the blocks you'll need. Black concrete, yellow concrete, light grey concrete, red wool, white concrete, white terracotta, lime concrete and brown concrete and that is everything you're going to need. So we're going to start off by building the hatch and the first block we're going to use is the black concrete and what we need to do is place down 20 blocks in a row. Now of course the hatch is square so what we need to do now is bring this back another 19 blocks. Bring it across another 19 blocks and then we need to connect the front to the back. So you should end up with a 20 block by 20 block square like this. Now as I'm sure you guys know, the hatch in real life has caution markings all the way around the hatch. So that's what we're going to do next. So switch to the yellow concrete and we're going to place a block on this end. And we're going to skip a block and place a block, skip a block, place a block all the way around this giant square. So place one, skip one, place one, skip one, place one. So we're going to repeat this all the way around. Once you've done that, you should end up with it looking something like this. Now what we need to do next is switch back to the black concrete and fill in these gaps all the way around. Now so far the hatch should be looking something like this. Next we're going to make the hatch come in slightly. So place a block on top of this black one on the front and come in by one block and then remove that first one. So you should have this diagonal step looking something like this. Now all we're going to do next is do a giant black square around the inside of the hatch. So as you can see we now have this little ridge going inwards all the way around. Now just like we did on this layer, next we're going to switch back to the yellow concrete and we're going to do this markings all the way around again. And just like last time, switch back to the black and fill in the gaps. And there we have the first part of the hatch. So as you can see from this one that I've already built, inside it's really dark because that's what it would be like if you were really going down inside the hatch. So what we're going to do next is replace all of this grass on the bottom layer with black. Now once you've cleared out this area of grass, go ahead and fill in this entire layer with black concrete. Once you've done that, the bottom of the hatch should look something like this. Now we need to make the top layer of the hatch. So to do that, we're going to place a yellow block on top of this black one here, and we're going to step it out one, and then remove that first yellow block, just like that. Then we're going to place a black block here, and then a yellow, and then we're just going to repeat this all the way around. And finally, you should end up with the hatch looking something like this. Next, we're going to work on the door to the hatch, as you can see, like this. Now, to make sure that the door to the hatch would fit this if it was actually shut, we need to make it 18 blocks high. So using the black concrete, come to this corner at the back and come up 18 blocks high. Come to this corner and do the exact same thing. And then we just connect these two up. And there we have the outline of the door. Now we just need to go ahead and fill in this whole area with more black concrete. So for this part, I'm going to speed it up. Now once you've completed that, you should end up with the door looking something like this. Next, we're going to put the handle on the back. So to build the handle, we're going to switch to the light grey concrete and we're going to place nine blocks as a big square. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you should have a square looking something like that. Actually, this one isn't perfectly centered, so I'm going to go in this side and remove those three. So it should be in the middle-ish. Then in the center block, we're going to place two like that and then come across two like this. 
and there we have the handle to the door. So next we need to start building Chadwell clay in the hatch. Now to do that, come to the inside and look towards the front. And if you come down to the ground level and just count these blocks. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So in line with the sixth block, the easiest way I find to do it to make sure that Chad lines up properly is to place down some light colored blocks. So if you place down one, two, three, four, like this, and then we're gonna place the first red wool on the fifth block, like that. You can remove these white ones, like that, and then switch back to the red wool, and we're gonna come across so that it's eight blocks long in total. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this will be the bottom part of Chadwell Clay's shirt. So once you've got this first layer here, we need to bring this up eight blocks high. We've already got one, so place another seven on top of that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Come this side and do the same thing. And then we're gonna bring this out another four. Come to this side and do the same thing. So come out another four. And that is gonna be Chad's elbows. Now this middle section, you can go ahead and complete it all with more red wool. Now, of course, at the moment, it just looks like a big kind of flat T shape. So because we're gonna make Chadwell clay 3D, we're gonna to come to the back and we're gonna bring this back another three blocks deep. Come this side and do the same. And then connect that up. Fill in the middle section. And now we need to bring this up to the same height as this. And then you should end up with the outline of Chad's shirt looking something like this. On the outside, on this corner, we're gonna come up another seven blocks high. We're gonna do the same for another two blocks. Like that. And then we're gonna come up another four on this one. So it should look something like this. On this side, we're gonna do the opposite. So we're gonna do four here. And then we're gonna do three lots of seven. So you should end up with it looking like this. Next, you can connect this side to that side like this. And for now, just go ahead and fill in this middle section. Now at the moment, from the back, it looks really flat. So just bring it back another three blocks deep all the way around. Now you should end up with a nice big 3D outline of the body looking like this. Next, we're gonna do Chad's hands. So switch to the white terracotta, and we're gonna to come to the top of the arm here, and we're gonna come up three blocks high. Do that all the way around the top of the arm. And there we have one of his hands. And now we just do the exact same thing on this arm. And there we have Chad's hands. Next, we're gonna work on Chad's head. So for that, we're gonna to come to the front here, skip out the first block, and then place eight in a row. So there should be a one block gap either side. Then on the next layer, we're gonna place two next to each other there. Come to the other side and place two next to each other like that. And then switch back to the red wool and we're gonna place four in a row for the mouth. Do another layer of white terracotta across the top. And then place one block on either end like this. Next, switch to the white concrete and we're gonna place two on top of each other here and two on top of each other here. Switch to the black concrete, and on the inside, we're gonna place one block there and one block there. And then for Chad's eye color, we're gonna use the lime concrete because Chad has green eyes, and this is the best color you can use for green eyes in Minecraft. Switch back to the white terracotta, and we're just gonna fill in this area in between the eyes and place a block either side like that. And then we're gonna bring it across four blocks on top. So we've got one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna skip a block, and then we're gonna place one, two, three, like this. Now, as I'm sure you all know, Chadwell Clay has blonde hair, so the best color you can use for that is the yellow concrete. So we've skipped out a block here, and that's on purpose. So we're gonna place one block in the middle like that, and then we're gonna do a layer all the way across the top, apart from this end block here. On top of this block, we're gonna place one more white terracotta, switch back to the yellow concrete, and then do a whole layer all the way across the top. And the reason we've done it like this is because that is identical to Chad's character when he's played Minecraft before. Now, of course, at the moment, his head looks really flat. So switch back to the white terracotta and come to the back. And we're going to bring this back three blocks all the way around. 
Now you should end up with it looking something like this. Then we just switch back to the yellow concrete and we're going to fill in two full layers on top of the head. And there we have Chadwell clay but there's something missing and that is the CWC on the shirt. So switch to the white concrete and we're going to come over to this arm and in line with this gap we're going to come down two blocks. We've got one, two, remove that block and replace it with white and then we need to do the first C. So come across like this and then down, down and across and then we're going to do a one block gap in between the C and the W so in line with the top of the C come across two blocks and remove and replace that with the white and then we're just going to come down like this and there we have the W and then we're going to do the same thing this side so we're going to skip a block and we're going to place one here and then we're going to come across like this and we're going to do a backward C because that's how Chadwell Clay has his logo if you've followed those steps, you should now have a giant Chadwell clay disappearing into the hatch. Now as a bonus, we're going to build Daniel in his yellow protective suit that he used to go down inside the hatch. Now Daniel is a super simple build. Come to this side of the hatch and we're going to come this way five blocks. So we've got one, two, three, four and five. And then we're going to come across this way eight blocks. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And on the eighth block, we're going to place a black. And then we need to bring that across another seven blocks. Come to the back and bring it back another three. Do the same this side. And then connect those up. Go ahead and fill in the middle. And there we have the base of Daniel's shoes. Next, switch to the yellow concrete. And we need to come from this corner and bring it up 13 blocks high. So we've got one, two, three. And then bring that across. And then we do the same this side to bring it up to 13 blocks high. Do the same on the back. And connect those to the front. And connect it up at the back. And there we have the frame for the legs. Now we need to fill in this entire area with more yellow concrete. So for this part, I'm going to speed it up. Once you've got the legs built up looking like this, come to the side and we're going to come out three blocks using the black. And then come down another two blocks. Connect those up and make sure you bring it in line with the back. And there we have one of the gloves. And we just need to do the exact same thing on the other side. And you should end up with two gloves looking like this. Switch back to the yellow and come to the top of the hand and come up seven blocks high. Do the same on this hand and connect those up. And we need to fill in this entire area front and back using the yellow concrete. Again, for this part, I'm going to speed it up. Once you've done that, you should end up with the body of Daniel looking something like this. Next, we're going to work on Daniel's head. So come over to the shoulder and come into the third block. Place three next to each other. And then come over to the other side and do the exact same thing. So we come into place one on the third and then another two next to that. So in the middle, you should have a gap of four blocks. Switch to the brown concrete and we're going to put four next to each other like this. Switch to the white terracotta and in the middle we're going to place two next to each other like that. And then back to the brown concrete and we're going to come up and around the mouth area. On the side come out two blocks and come up one. Do the same on this side. And there we have Daniel's beard and mouth. Switch back to the white terracotta and fill in these two holes here. And then do a layer all the way across the top. In the center, we're going to place two next to each other like this and then another two on top of that. And on the outside, we're going to come up two blocks high. Do the same on the other side. And as you can see, these two gaps are going to be the eyes. So for that, we switch back to the white concrete and we're going to come up two blocks this side and two blocks this side. Switch back to the black and place one block there and one block there. And as you probably know, Daniel has green eyes just like Chad. So we're going to use the lime concrete again and place one block there and one block there. When you have the face looking like this, we need to do the eyebrows. So switch back to the black concrete and on top of the eye, we're going to place two like that and two like that. And then fill in the rest of the layer with more white terracotta. Switch to the brown concrete and on the top layer, we're going to place one block here, skip a block and place one and then come to the other end and place one on the end like that. Switch back to the white terracotta and fill in the gaps. 
And then we're going to do two more layers of brown concrete all the way across the top. And there we have Daniel's face. But of course, at the moment, he's not wearing his yellow hood. So switch it back to the yellow concrete and we're going to come up and around the entire face. And there we have a hood, but at the moment it looks really flat. So what we're going to do is bring it forward all the way around the outside of the yellow by one block, just to give it a bit more of a 3D look. Now you should end up with something looking similar to this. And the last thing we need to do is fill in the back of the head, because at the moment it's really flat. So all you need to do for that is going around the edge of the yellow is fill it in all the way to the back until it comes in line with the shoulders. And there you have it guys, if you followed those steps you would now have built your very own giant Chadwell clay going inside the hatch along with Daniel in his protective hazmat suit helping him out. So guys, now it's time to pick a winner for the giveaway. Now to make it as fair as possible, I'm using this random name picker website. Now according to this, there were 88 people who commented the correct answer. And as soon as I press start, it will pick one person completely at random. And the winner is... Joanna Houston. Congratulations, Joanna. Make sure you send me a direct message on Discord to claim your prize. The link to my Discord is down in the description. If it's not claimed within 24 hours, I will be picking another name at random. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay mega.